Welcome back to Banished the North, where we have just got chickens. And we're going to put one person in. I hope that's been built, yes. Okay, and we've already got 20 of 28. We bought 20 chickens. Um, so that should give us a different lot of food. It will give us eggs, it will give us feathers, which is excellent. And we are in the process two little bits of peat left before we put in an orchard we have just bought pears which is excellent um, and we're, we're just generally trying to expand our food at the moment now I think I have a fish smoker but I want to be sure what have I got up here where would I have oh look at the chicken train oh fantastic look at that all the chickens going I don't miss these have you bought me bricks? No, dismiss. Right, let's watch our chickens. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? They're coming in two lots. They must be two flocks. I haven't brought twenty-one flock. I bought. I have bought two flocks. How fantastic! They're coming through the other areas, through the graveyards. Oh, how wonderful! Isn't that fantastic seeing them in the evening sunlight with the sunlight, the late northern sunlight slanting across the ground, across those red chickens. That's really lovely. That looks great. And then contented clucking. Very, very nice. Yeah. And we clearly need a road down there, don't we? Yeah. Let's put a road down there. Everybody wants to come down there, so let's put a road. Always go with where they want the roads. Now, that's looking good. So we have 8,000 food, and I'm just waiting. I want to put some urgency on these guys. Come on. Look, I, want, I know these are the last ones I picked up, but I want something in there. Come on, guys, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, it's looking so cute. But a lot of things stopped because we don't need them at the moment or we've made too much of them. So we are looking at quite a lot of ma management. I mean, we've got cherry orchard here, um, which is sounds very Russian, doesn't it? The cherry orchard. And then over here, we're going to have a plum orchard. Off camera, I've been doing a bit more uh, picking up of odd bits of peat. I mean, watching me going through the forest, searching for peat is never enthralling. Yeah, have you done those other two bits yet, guys? Come on. They just will not, you know, they do it in the order you've given it to them, and that's that. And we've got the bridge. Oh, the mine has been built. Excellent. Now we need, so it uses logs and tallow. Now I put somebody to making tallow in here from animal fat. Did we make any tallow? We've got 20 tallow and it needs 15. Each time he goes in the mine, I don't know. Am I getting, where am I getting tallow from? Are you making tallow? You're making animal fat, 24, great. Are you making animal fat? You're making animal fat. Great. So those two are making animal fat. I don't know about reindeer. Do you make animal fat? You do. So we've got three areas making animal fat. And we've got 11 of 10. Gosh, these are almost, almost coming up right they're not going to do that you see until they've done all the ones i picked out up here right well you finished that lot
good. Let's go and have a look from here. Right. Nice. And down here, guys? Have you decided to do these two? No. I've got somebody out of kilter. I think it may be the sand digger. And I wonder what a sand digger is called. Uh, somebody who digs sand. Let's have a look. Glass, quarry, clay, uh, pottery, quarry. Clay pit. Glass factory. Yeah, I think I've got one miner too many. And I think they may have gone straight into the mine. Because when I close... No, I've got somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Let me have a look. This way, look. I've got five gatherers of six. I've got... I need another gatherer. I've got seven of eight foresters. Um, I've got four of eight peat cutters, miners, glass makers. I've got... That solved your problem, mate, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the iron mine with two people in. Perfect. Have you... You're mining iron ore. Good. And that wooden bridge, yeah, is now built and looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's just put the roads in if we can. Yeah, I've got this road wrong. It needs to go to there. And then that road can come out. And down here, we need the road to the mine. And you need somewhere to store your ore, don't you, mate? Let's get the roads in first. Ah. Right. That needs flattening. Um have I got a flatten tool? Remove all resources. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> um, let's remove all resources. No, I don't think I have a flattening tool. Um, I don't think that helps. Remove roads. Well, you'll just have to walk over that. Now, let's have a look at stockpiles. And we want ore. Clay, fuel, ore. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Where can we put a... Mate, where can we put a stop path for you? Wow. Anything. Yep. Oh, they take it they take bites out of the mountain for the stop piles. Interesting. Right. Yep. That'll do. And in case they make a lot more, let's just put a little bit there. All right, got a trader? Okay, what have you bought me? You have bought me onion seeds. But I have onions. All right, let me have a quick look under orders. I'm looking for someone who will supply bricks or who will bring me beehives. 
No. Look again at just the onion seed. Right. Dismiss. I'm low on food. Uh, we don't want to be low on food. It's November. Let's dismiss you. I've got labourers. Now, if I come round here, let me come out, and I've got a gatherer's hut here. All right, gatherer's shelter. You've got two of three. They're doing quite well. Let's put another person in there. That gives you three. Good. So that's got somebody else in food production. And I think what we will do is go around and see if we've got any wild food around. And just collect that. Wild food. Yeah. Let's just harvest this wild food. It's not that far away. None there. There is some there. Right. Harvesting wild food will give us a bit more food. Are our harvests in? They are getting them in, which is good. And over here, we have finally done that. So let's put another orchard in. And go with... Dang it, we've got Pete again. thinking about this I'm just thinking that maybe if I start it one in I might get it a lot for orchard is too large that's better right let's get that orchard in what have you brought me smoked fish yeah you think I'm short of food we're not as bad as we were. Tallow, potash. Come on, have you got by any chance? Cattle, reindeer, apple seeds, bean seeds. We've got a lot of these seeds. No. All right, trade, dismiss. But thank you for the offer. Right, now it's February, so if we can get any more, see I'm hoping that we get the orchard in, so that we'll be able to do that. Let's think about this. I've got crop fields, orchards. I've got a chicken coop. I've got sheep, cattle. I want bees. Now, a campfire. Are we getting venison? That's a good thought, actually. Oh, we've got another merchant. What have you got? Ropes. Dismiss. We're not needing them at the moment. Are we getting venison at the moment? That's. And if so, could we put in a campfire? Stocks. Venison. Let's have a look, because that would make the vent, if we could put in a campfire, we're not got venison. Is that, now, is that because they're eating it, or because we're not making it? Let's have a look here. 10 of 10. We are making venison. Right, so we need a campfire to smoke our venison now. We've got, where are we likely to have roads? That road goes along there. Yeah, I think what we would do is down here. We need more storage in this area, I think. 
but in the meantime let's look at a campfire we'll pop it right near to the road one back let's put a campfire in and if we build that we will have one person there doing venison now where are the this storage is 95 percent full do we have any more storage in this area we do not we could do with more storage i think um it's quite a long way to any storage so we could put storage here let's put a big stabber we could put a barn in there let's have a look at whoa 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 a small barn yeah we could do that um look at that uh does it come in different colors let's put that barn in now we've got a campfire roast venison yes that will increase our supply of venison immediately. So the stock breeders and the farmers are. Now we have the orchard and this is going to be pear. Let's put one person in there to get it all planted. Good. So we've got more coming. The venison will be, the life of the venison will be extended. Now if I think about this, do I have a smokehouse? I do. Yeah, they're smoking a lot of fish. Is my mutton being smoked? That's another question. Where's the thingstead? Right. Do we have smoked mutton? We have smoked fish. I want to smoke this mutton. We've got, we can't, we can't feed you. Oh, but I've no one allow. Yeah, we've just got to have the people. And you can live in the long house. Wow. All right. Let's look at smoking f mutton. So the smokehouse is there. Where would I get another smokehouse? Where could I fit one in? You know, I could put one in here. And that's quite close to where we're producing mutton. Not necessarily close to where we are storing it. So why don't we put in... Let's look at putting in, ooh. a barn. That's not a bad idea, actually. What? Um, I didn't want that there. What happened? Well, game, what's happening? What speed are you going at? Five, all right. A merchant at the trading post. Let's just... Wow, that game did not like that. Whatever I was trying to do, it didn't like it. We're down to 4,000 food. This is not good. It is July. Um, right. We need to buy food. So, let's put in 175 wool. That's over a thousand. So how many beans can we get for that? It's 1,200, 400 beans. We need 150 more units. So let's put in 50, 120, agree. We bought some beans. Good. Right, now is my chicken coop full? So we're getting chicken and eggs. Right, so we don't need more chickens. 
we've got sheep we've got leather mm. food's going up right let's dismiss you we've got another trader here what have you bought wool cowhide onion and flax we've got all that let's not do that and where is this small barn it's here right and that indicates yes that we needed it yeah they're filling it up already good yeah I mean it may be that we had a drag on us there uh, also I think that we could put in some more fisher people uh, let's just get that one pinned let me know where you come down to yeah get another fishing pier in they are storing up there and it's 80% full so if you're there we need some road let's run that road up to there and then let's put storage in between them I think we might be short on storage which may be actually affecting our efficiency let's do that build another barn and then yeah and then we would need another house here Ooh. Do we want a house there? Of course we want a house there. Um, I wonder what... We're on to log cabins. But, guys, we can build Espers. goodness how great is that for the fisher people to have an ESPA just there I think that is far enough away from that house let's do that okay fishing pier has been built put another fisherman in food is up to 8,000 right so we're now producing chickens and eggs we've got a dairy hut that's producing that's the leather <laughs> I know we have a dairy hut Taylor Tannery Dairy Hub, yeah. So you're you're producing yogurt, so you're already helping to keep our food. I think we need something that will smoke meat. So if I look at our smokery, which is here, it has it's a trap. it will do smoked mutton. Okay. I think we need to do smoked mutton somewhere. Right, and I was going to put one in up here and we got slightly sidetracked. Um, let's just put the smoker in. Is that where the smoker is? Yes, let's put the... Sp no, not that one. Smokehouse, yes. Right, let's get that smokehouse in there. Right. We'll smoke our mutton. And then we want... I wanted a barn. And that's where we got slightly adrift. But 
but I think the barn would fit nicely there. It would actually. Let's get that barn in. Yeah, and it's glass panes. And I've been building log cabins when I can build espas. Shocking. We are not going to build that. Although log cabins do have their uses. That small barn's been built where? Here. Oh, look at this, guys. Starting to look truly Nordic. Good. All right. I wonder if we could get another smoker in there, whether it would be effective. That looks good. And we've got another small barn going in. That ESPA, yes, that's being built. Wow. On to ESPAs and gorgeous barns. Absolutely beautiful barns. I wonder how much they hold in comparison to a stabber. I mean, they look gorgeous, but 8,400, yeah. Yep, they're even bigger. All right, and over here, how's our pear orchard? It's, it's okay. How much room have we got here? You know what, I think I'm going to, how much is that? What? Hello trade oh my goodness right eight gold sixteen hundred do you know I don't know how many I need for a brickworks let me just pin you there Yeah, the brickworks. It's going to go over here. So let's get it sighted. Uh, glassworks, brickworks. It's going to need 34 bricks and 80. No, 80 bricks and 34 roof tiles. Wow, we're going to ruin ourselves doing this. Right, so. Why don't you just site it where you want it? Or where you can put it. Will it go there? Stay there. Do not move. Right, let's get this brickworks in. Now we're going to put a bridge across. We want it as close to the, that's that lump. It will. Right. I think we will put it there. Right, now I just don't want to build it at the moment. I want to know how much it's going to take. Right, the trading dock. It needs 80 bricks. Right. That's all our gold. And if we put in 50 furs, how much will that give us? Okay. That's 2,000. That gives us 100 bricks. How many roof tiles? I need 34. Can I get to 34? Thirty-five, two, seven. I've got it. Two, eight. I can get some more bricks. 
380, you're overpaying by 300 units. These are 20 each. So we could get, let's just take out 300 units. So if we go down to um, 300, let's get, would it, can I do it with 40? I can. So that's 100 bricks, yes, and 34 roof tiles, agree. Excellent. Right, look at your orders. Now we ought to be able to make bricks and roof tiles, sand glass pane. All right, that I think will do. Do you bring beehives? You do not. All right, trade, dismiss. That trade is done. And we want to build that. All right. Let's pop that over there. This small barn. And that is the smokehouse. We've got... How many people have we got? Four labourers. Let's put you in. And you're going to smoke our mutton to increase that. Good. The small barn, we're starting to store things in. The east bar should make the fishermen more effective because we've got one there and one there and they're both living there. Perfect. And they're storing it there. Lovely. That works. That works well. What are we growing here? Barley. So we're growing barley. Let me look at my... Look at agriculture. I have got barley I don't have rye what would a bread oven make bread from dairy hut no we've got one of those a granary I think that only stores rye and a mill rye or wheat okay so we have got barley and we need rye or wheat yeah the peat cutters have come out to help us here Right, let's get some road in to make life better for them. Do we have road there? We do. Right, and we've got this very large lump here. Okay, let's, can we get a road down there? You know, I think the road will actually go up there. And then what's causing us a problem up here? Why can't I get a road there? That's not peat, is it? There is peat here. And I think it affects that one. Right, let's get that road coming. No, we're all right. Right, these are all dirt roads at the moment. Okay. All right, I've got two laborers. So let's, we shouldn't be collecting wild food at this stage, I know. Let's harvest some wild food. There's a lot of wild food around. In unexpected places, Anyone not doing anything like you peat cutters? Right. Ah. Okay. I don't know how... Would I get a crop field in there? How... What is that? Eight. 
by 11. Um, I think what I'm going to do is to take out that and that for the time being and they can put it all in here. We can put another stone stockpile in there. So we've got ore, clay, stone. Just put it in there and move that. That's a lot of work for them to do. Okay. Now, we are up to speed on that. Now, we could split these. We could split all these. Um, everything's being harvested. We're up to 9,000 food. I think I've got some rope. I think what I'm going to do is to move this well. Let me see. I'm just measuring stuff out here. Um, that is going to be... Yeah, I will get another field in there if I move the well, which would be sensible, actually. Where are people going to be living? That's, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. 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 See, this isn't too bad. That's a bit far. That's a bit far, but we could put a house in here. It doesn't have to be here. Let's put that well. Can we get one of those wells in there? We can. Yeah, let's put a well right there to cover those two houses and once that well is built we'll take this one out and we'll put a crop field in here and I think that will work a small one it's alright Good, now let's get one in there. So, I'm taking, I mean, I am taking a risk here on infestation. 13 by 8. Let's do it. We need the food. We'll just have to deal with infestation as it comes slotting in our fields. It was all going to be such a nice regular pattern. <laughs> but it doesn't always work out like that, does it, guys? And in the meantime... Right, I think we need to take out more peat here. Yeah, thinking it through, uh, we're now up to 10,000 food. Yes. That little bit extra makes all the difference. Now you've brought me flax seeds, you've brought me pumpkin seeds. Got another crop field. Um, actually, let's have a look at this trader as well. Trade. Um, do pumpkins do well in northern climates? I don't know. We've got beans. Uh, let's just check. No. I want rye and I want wheat. Right, bring me those two every time. Every visit. Go and get me some rye and some wheat. Right, this crop field. Uh, let's grow barley. They can put that in soup. Put somebody in there, yes. Another person making food. Somebody died of old age uh, and has been replaced. We are down to nobody being replaced. <sighs> dangerous, guys, dangerous. But we've got four peat cutters. Let's take that down to two. I mean, they're acting as labourers, but let's just alleviate that burden for a while. 
Right, we've got the pear orchard coming up. Got another field there being grown, another field there to be planted. Now they don't plant them till a lot later on. Now we can put houses and wells there. Yeah, I think if we get this closer together, we've got the storage here and we've got storage here, which is only 12% full because they're short of food. We can put houses here, we can put houses here and wells. Actually, wells would be a good idea in here. Yeah, and then we've got quite a, a big agricultural area going on. Yeah, these barns are gorgeous, aren't they? Right. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that episode as much as I have. Oh, it's been built. Um, and then I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.